Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I want to show you guys how to make some candy cane related DIYs and projects. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really fun projects to do for the summer, summer, oh my god, for the holidays and they're actually super super easy to do. Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for future videos and let's get on to this video. Our first candy cane project is Flubber Soap. I've done this in the past and you guys love that video so much and ever since I've gotten so many requests to do all kinds of Flubber Soaps so I decided to do a candy cane Flubber Soap. This is really easy to make. All you need is some kind of dish soap, hand soap or shampoo, it doesn't really matter, with cornstarch. Now the food coloring and scent, that's up to you. Oh, and actually, you do need a little bit of oil as well. I forgot to say that. I also added some peppermint extract to mine to make it smell like peppermint. And my soap was actually caramel. So I actually like how it mixed together. The two scents went well together. Now, when you're making this, if you feel like it's too wet or too droopy or whatever, you add more cornstarch. If you feel like it's too dry, you add more of the soap pretty much. And then you add some oil as well. And then you just do that until you get the right consistency and it's not sticking to your hands anymore. Then you could wash your hands with this, play with it. Honestly, I could show you a demonstration of me washing my hands with it. But all I do is just play with it. It's so fun to play with. It's almost like a stress ball and it smells amazing. This next activity is actually a science project. It's bending candy canes and it's way simpler than you probably thought. All you do is pop it in the oven for 2 minutes at 250 degrees. And if they're too hot, let these cool down. You should be able to hold them without feeling any pain. Take them out and then you can play with your friends and see who can bend the craziest candy cane. I mean, it sounds pretty dumb, but it's actually pretty interesting and I think this is something kids would love. I feel like it's just satisfying knowing that you can actually bend a candy cane. This next DIY is a candy cane bath bomb. This has to be my absolute favorite because I just love bath bombs in general. Even if I've never been to Lush, I just make them on my own. To make a bath bomb, you need two cups of baking soda, two cups of citric acid, and a fourth cup of cornstarch. And those are the dry ingredients. We're going to begin to mix them all together until everything is blended. Now onto the wet ingredients. I'm taking water on the side. It doesn't matter how much water, and I, just a little bit. And I'm adding some food coloring and some peppermint extract. Adding it slowly to my mix and mix as I'm adding because you don't want it to start fizzing up. Although it's going to do it a little bit, you don't want that much reaction. Until it feels like wet sand is when it's ready. It's now time to put it in our molds. I got these molds on Amazon by the way. I know you can also use the ornaments, the ones that you find at craft stores. I'm really pressing this down into my molds all the way to the very top and when you close it it's going to be a little bit tough but you want that because you want everything really compacted together. Once that's done let it dry for a couple of hours. When you pop it out it should be hard. I'm popping mine out by tapping with a spoon and this should release easily. I also just like to break the sides off and my bath bomb is done. It smells amazing and I just honestly love making bath bombs because when you have the right ingredients it becomes really easy to make them. And that is it for this video. Just some fun projects to try for the holidays. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is a short video because these are just so easy to make. Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment down below. Let's talk. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.